Hello everyone, welcome to Brimitech. In this video training, I'm going to show you how to make a bootable USB drive for your Windows 10 ISO. After this training, I hope you will be able to install Windows 10 on your PC using a USB drive. Okay, firstly, I'll just install this software. It's Rufus and this software will help me to make my USB drive a bootable drive. Okay, here you can see I have a USB flash drive called USB and it's uh, it has 29 GB free space. Okay, if you want to make a USB drive bootable, then your USB drive should be minimum 8 GB. Okay, and before let's see how to start. Here on Rufus.io website, just scroll down and you will see the download option and here you can download the portable version or the installer version click on it it's a very small file only one megabyte and you can see it's going to be downloaded and already has been downloaded i'm just going to show in folder here it is and i'm just going to run as administrator run it and it say do you want to allow Rufus to check for application update online okay yes and here goes the interface to make a bootable usb drive firstly it says the device and multiple partition 32 gb and select the iso okay i have collected the iso and kept it here on the data and here goes the ISO. I'm just going to run the Rufus and going to select that ISO from data. I'm just going to select it. Okay. And next option is image option. And it will be standard Windows installation and partition scheme. It has two options GPT and MBR. It will depend on the hard disk system you have. If you have GPT, then you will select it. If you have MBR partition on your hard disk, then you will select it. Okay, then how you will know about the partition type of your hard disk? Just come here, just click on the PC icon and right click on it and go to the manage section. Dix management and say for example this is the main Dix and I'm just going to right click on it and see the properties and click on the volume and here you can see the partition type is GPT so if I install Windows on this hard disk then I'll choose the partition scheme GPT okay then the volume level this will be the level for the pen drive okay and file system keep it default ntfs and finally i'm just going to hit this start button to start the process i'm going to start it and it says a uh, warning and it says that all the data on the pen drive will be removed okay and the process is going on well you can see it shows a message and it's complete then now my pen drive is ready to use as a bootable pen drive okay here you can see the status bar is complete and it says ready i'm just going to hit close and let's see the pen drive the pen drive name is sensed and just go into it and here you can see the setup file and boot file all everything and it is ready to install windows 10 okay i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you